Hi there, welcome to number one geek. It is I, Saz, and we're back with some more Project Zomboid Black Summer. A chapter four, we are still getting ourselves in the survival phase, and as you may see, I may have collected myself quite a little bit of loot to take back to base from the uh, mall. Now, the general thing I, I, I realised with them all is that I went to go get some books to help uh, bring up my character's uh, abilities. And while I did that, I met quite a few uh, zombies of different styles. Obviously with uh, Authentic Peaches or Authentic Zed uh, thing. There's some interesting zombies that we've met. Which I'm going to have to actually start looking at uh, kicking off. Let's have a look at this zombie hit list. We'll see where we are so far. We've 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 hit all them. Not the COVID survivors, range survivors, police. Yes, we've done the Ooh, I think I had the splatter survivalist. So we'll add we've killed one of them. Driver jockey number four. Killed a couple of them. Interesting enough, I haven't seen the other lot of those. Uh Pilot Fisherman, I did see the Hunter, so we've killed a Hunter. Uh, unless a travelling band, I've, I've seen a couple, I haven't seen the whole band. Definitely taken a burglar out. Uh, not too sure about Homeless. Uh, now. Took out Ash Williams, Mad Max, Bub, Doc and Marty McFly. Uh, Cleaner Gordon, Bob Ross, G-Man, uh, Hank Hill, okay, none of those guys, um, but let's go to Zombie Hit List 2, I'm suspecting that there might be a, a third hit list, but I haven't quite seen it yet, uh, right, add symbol, we'll put the X in there, none of those, I have taken a cheerleader out, Pop that in there. I've done the clown nurse. I have now done both the ghillie suit and the snow ghillie. Uh, these guys are all done as well. Just fun little extra this is. Uh, Duke Nukem. I haven't seen Duke Nukem. Uh, I've seen Leon. Uh, I haven't seen Big Daddy Cherry. Uh, right. I have killed race dance, but uh, Peter and Egon are. I uh, killed Frank West. <clears throat> I'm not too sure about those guys. Don't remember seeing any of those guys. Uh, I did do Leatherface. I'm just in the first vote, Jason Voorhees. But this Jason Voorhees, I saw a lot of. As you can see, he's got a machete on his back. So I've got machetes of varying uh, quality. So, with that out of the way, I'll put those back as well. With those, with the zombie hit list out of the way, uh, we have a large bag of stuff. All pretty much nearly finished. So, some of this is some of the stuff that I've taken with me, or picked up. Uh, this is ammunition that we've... Uh, other stuff, including food. Uh, one thing I will do is I will take a cookie, uh, several bags of chips, some canned tomato, and all the canned sardines. That'll be my my uh, rations for this time. We've also got Hattie's generators, just general stuff there. Uh, Next one is, now I found that I'd, I'd separated the clothing and the medical stuff into separate bags, but I found they actually work quite well together. Uh, so we've also got the sledgehammer, the shovel. So this one definitely needs to come back first. Uh, then we've got the books as well, which I think also definitely need to come back as well, uh, as well as some of the extra stuff here. So... What's going to happen is, as you know, I've picked up some military helmets, a uh, hockey mask from uh, thing, and a Ghostbusters coveralls, which I'm intending on repairing and hanging out to cosplay because it's just cool. Um, so our general plan, and here's, here's where things go a little bit awry for me, I would have thought, 
is I am going to find where I, my first one is, my food bag. Which one's got the food in it? It's going to be this one. So I'm going to equip that as my secondary. And I believe this one here, I'm going to equip as my primary. So I'm going to be pretty heavily loaded here. Fortunately, the, uh, the day has gone a little bit better, but we are going for a walk. Now, what happens is if I do end up meeting zombies, I am going to uh, end up uh, dropping it and just pressing the one, which will drop the bag automatically and arm myself. Uh, this probably isn't the best option because I'm going to end up being quite injured by the time we go because it's a long distance I'm going to have to walk but I'm ga I'm hoping that um, I will uh, not meet that much on the way there back because actually if I go into crawl mode as well I will hopefully not have to deal with too many zombies on the way up so that's the plan. We'll see how far that goes, and I'll catch you when something exciting happens. Well, it didn't go too well. Now here's where the risk is, I'm afraid. Apparently I can barely walk. I may have to stop off. Let's see if I can just avoid this guy rather than have to deal with him. I mean, the other option is I can just drop these guys and maybe go back. Grab some more bags and just, just almost like ferry them up bit by bit. But I think we may have avoided the thing. So we'll be back when the next issue arises. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I might see if I can use this car as a rest spot. Right. I can open the boot. So what I might do is pop these two backpacks. Let's drop them on the ground. We'll smash this window. Oh, I... Ah! So we'll grab something to eat. So what I'll do is I'll just rest it out for a bit. Watch this go down, hopefully. My exertion. And um, then we'll deal with whatever needs to be dealt with. Right, I'm going to take a slight risk here. I could stop off at the housing up here, but I think the easiest thing to do is for me to uh, just carry on. I know I'm tired and I know I'm ex I've got moderate exertion. But I'm banking on the fact that there's going to be very little around my base because I've pretty much cleared everything out. It's never guaranteed with the way that these things work. But push comes to shove. I should, and that's in parenthesis, should, um be okay. I can just drop the stuff and run. Ish. Right, 
At least the uh, walk back is going to be a lot easier. And it also means that I can probably kill any zombies on that way back as well. Should I take the road? Hmm. I could easily stop off at the food market if needs be, and there's plenty of cars here to rest in. If needs be. Just need to keep an eye out for zombies. Just hope I'm lucky. And I can get home. So I have the food and weapons all done. And the other option is, is that I can also drop my other backpack. And so I can carry at least one other on my back. It's an option. Not necessarily going to be the option. Now this is the most dangerous point. I'm hoping to God that there are no zombies hanging out my area. I may be lucky here. Now one thing I might want to do is think about making a um, a side entrance. But uh, I think we've pretty much got there. Don't like that music. These two down. Let's head to bed. Uh, does mean I'm heading out back at night, but not a lot I can do about that, I'm afraid.
So now that I've got the heavy weapons over here, it does make life a little bit easier. I've got the sledgehammer, I've got the shovel. I could be a bit more blatant walking back. But that is time, so uh, I will spend the time walking back and just say thank you very much for watching. If you like what you like, press the like button. If you dislike what you dislike, press the dislike button. But please pop some down in the comment section to let me know how I can improve my content for you. If you like what you see, why not press that subscribe button? And if you super duper like it, why not press that bell icon so you get updated every time I upload new content to YouTube. All that remains for me to say is thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.